Okay, it's Friday the 7th of August. It's pre-market, 7.56 a.m. Um, I'm on the FTSE here. Um, what I'm going to start doing for the live trade on a Friday is I'm going to start trying to record more of the, the trade. I've had that suggested a couple of times now. Okay, let me just enter this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking one trade a week where I trade minimum uh, position size. The minimum position size on the FTSE is £2 per point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade £3 per point, which allows me to close out part of the position if ever I would do that in one of these trades. Because quite often on a trade, I'll close out 50% or 75% of my position and then let some more run. So I've had a, a pin bar here right here on my on my zone i've not actually finished marking these in because it's still pre-market i was still in the process of doing it uh, the only thing to be aware of <clears throat> pre-market is the spread is is larger it's two points instead of one and also volatility is usually quite high when the market opens so if you're wrong it it does jump against you very quickly so we've got two minutes to the open. Um, what I'll do is I'll pause the recording and I'll come back and we'll see how this one goes. Okay, we're just about to, to open now in a couple of seconds. We've got the pivot point down here, which is acting as resistance. Um, as you can see, the market will jump around off of this. It's just part of trading. Um, the market doesn't always do exactly what you want straight away. Um, and oftentimes there is losses in trading. You just have to expect that also. What I'm looking at to manage here is if this five minute bar doesn't break this pivot point, it doesn't close below the pivot point, then I would probably just close the position because it shows that this is going to be holding as a support level. Um, my target is 15 points, although I would start to manage the trade after 10 points. And what I do with stops is I put in an emergency stop. So the, the maximum I would be willing to risk for this trade is 22 points. You can see it's up here. I, I probably wouldn't let the market get there. This is just in case on the very, very rare occasion that some piece of news comes out or something and the market just rallies up straight away. That's my protection. I usually close the position manually when the market tells me that I'm wrong. So you can see it's breaking through the pivot point. We've got three minutes, 40 seconds of the trade, uh, of the first five minute bar left. And the first five minutes is often quite unpredictable. So it might, it might jump back up again. Um, I'm just watching it, just seeing what's happening. I had this market very negative today. This is why I was happy to take this trade pre-open. Um, jumping around okay so what i will do is i'll pause it until it gets a little bit further down or if it starts to bounce back up i'll turn the trade back on okay two minutes left of this candle it has already came down to 10 points and profit so i am now managing the trade i wouldn't now let it go back up into into a negative if it did start to go up there if it got up towards the sort of pivot point i would just open this window here which uh, closes the trade I just have my mouse over the OK button and I can close the trade uh, manually. OK, this trade is now down at um, plus 11 points. I am expecting this to complete either on this candle or on the next candle. So I'm just going to record from now and you can see what happens. I've got a minor um, support and resistance zone here. So if it does start to react off of this zone, I would just close it. You can see my candle right, my limit order right there, and it should close me out. There we go, that's the trade completed. 15 points in less than five minutes. And you can see it's a very strong um, negative candle. If I just quickly go on to the daily time frame, um, I have been saying that with these um, pins, I have had the market quite negative. We had another very strong tail here this market was an inside day uh, sorry this candle was an inside day 
So I was expecting some sort of a sell-off today. And we have got it. Great way to start a Friday. Um, I'll look for one more trade for today and then that will be me finished for the weekend. It's been a, a great week. I've only had one losing trade this week. Um, I usually take two trades a day, so it's it's quite exceptional for um, for the week. Okay, as always, please do subscribe to Decisive Trading if you are learning how to trade. It's free and there are a lot more trading videos to come. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a, a great weekend. I'm James Orr and thank you.